Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some ground beef nachos using the following ingredients. As you can see, I'm using extra lean ground beef, mild rotel, and bite-sized chips. You can use hot rotel, you can use 80 to 20 ground beef. It's your choice, but I do recommend the Velveeta cheese because it melts very nicely and it's so creamy. To get started, you're going to use, um, use, you're going to cook your ground beef and you're going to season it with some garlic salt. Now while you begin to mix up your ground beef and have it start to cook, I recommend that you start cutting your cheese into uh, bite-sized pieces uh, just because it melts a lot easier. And you'll see whenever I get further into the video, I'm gonna show you how long it takes for it to melt because you wanna make sure you keep it on a low setting, otherwise the cheese will burn. So you'll wanna cut it into cubes and you're also not gonna put it all at the same time. You're gonna put in half of the cheese, let it melt nicely, and then you're gonna add in the other half. So as you can see, you want it to be into small cubes. Okay, so when you're done cutting your cheese, you're gonna go back to your ground beef and finish cooking it. Whenever you're done cooking your ground beef, you're gonna set it off to the side in a separate container. Um, I actually never use the entire one pound of the ground beef that I buy. I always end up having extra, so I just put it in a glass container and put it in the fridge, so that way it's easy to just microwave if I wanna use it for a different dish. Now to get started on the cheese, as you can see, I sprayed it with some Pam just to prevent it from sticking. Um, it shouldn't stick if you have a if you have it on low at all times, but I like to take the extra precaution and just spray it. So I only used half of the cheese. I poured in the whole can of the Rotel, and I also poured a quarter cup of water. It's gonna look like it melted really fast in the video, but it did not. So I'm warning you, be very patient. It is going to take a little bit. As you can see, the first half already melted. Now once the first half melted, I add in the other half of the cheese and melt it nicely. You see the bottom doesn't have any cheese stuck to it because it was on the low setting the whole time. Now I am going to add one cup of ground beef and another quarter cup of water. Now, I did want to mention that it's completely up to you if you want to add more meat than I do, you can. I don't like it to be too thick, but if you decide that you want to add more meat, then I would suggest adding a little bit more water as well. Once your cheese melts nicely, that completes this recipe. It's ready to pour over your chips, and it's perfect for any sort of snack if you're having friends over or a small gathering. I really hope you guys like it. Don't forget that all the ingredients, all of the steps will be posted down below for you as well. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you guys would like to see more videos. Thank you and have a great day.